Find the cubic expansion of 5x plus 2 over 1 minus 2x, 2 minus x, and state the range of values of x for which the expansion is valid. Okay, so splitting 5x plus 2 over 1 minus 2x, 2 minus x into partial fractions. So 5x plus 2 over 1 minus 2x, 2 minus x will be equal equivalent to, sorry, a over 1 minus 2x plus b over 2 minus x. So that means that 5x plus 2 must be equivalent to a times 2 minus x and b times 1 minus 2x. So if we put uh, x equal to a half, that will make that 0. So uh, 5 times a half plus 2 will give me 9 over 2 on that side. And then 2 minus a half will give me a times 3 over 2, which will give that a is equal to 3, because the 2s will cancel out, and then it'll become 9 divided by 3. If we now put uh, x equal to 2, that will make that one 0. So we put 2 in there, we get 2 times um, 5 plus 2, which is 12. And then if we put 2 in here, we get 2 minus 4, which is giving me minus 3, will give me that b is minus 4. And therefore, our, part our fraction can be written as a, which is now 3 over 1 minus 2x, minus 4 over 2 minus x. So if we expand this, 3 over 1 minus 2x, that becomes 3 times 1 minus 2x to the minus 1. And then we can use the binomial theorem to expand this and then multiply through by 3. So using the binomial theorem, which I've written out here for your... But I think it's on the formula booklet for a negative or a fractional index. So we've just got a negative one here. So x will be equivalent to minus 2x and then n will be equal to minus 1. So we're going to have 3, 1 plus minus 1 times minus 2x. Be careful use of brackets here. Minus 1 minus 2 over 2 factorial minus 2x squared. And then minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 over 3 factorial minus 2x or cubed, etc. So that will give 3, 1, minus 1 times minus 2 gives 2x. Now the interesting thing is this is 2 factorial here on the top, so this will just cancel out. And when you square this, it will become positive, so you just get plus 4x squared. A similar thing happens here. This is like 3 factorial, 3 factorial. Now, this is negative, this is negative, this is negative. When you cube this, this will also be negative, so the whole thing will be positive, because you've got four negatives, so it'll just be 8x cubed. Multiplying through by 3, you're going to get 3 plus 6x plus 12x squared plus 24x cubed, etc. We don't need to go any further because we're asked to find the cubic expansion. This, uh, this will be valid, provided that minus 2x is between minus 1 and 1, which means that x would have to be between minus a half x minus a half and a half. Okay, right. Now we will expand uh, minus four over two minus x. We have to be a bit more careful with this one. So it's minus four times two minus x and minus one, but the expansion is only valid if we've got a one here. So we need to take out 2, that will be 2 to the minus 1. So it will be minus 4 over 2, which will give me t minus 2. So be, be careful that you're sure that what you what you got there, and that will make that 1 minus x over 2, because we have to put this x over 2 if we take out my, uh, a 2 to the minus 1. So that x will now be equivalent to x over 2, n will be minus 1. So doing a similar thing, minus 2 of 1 plus minus 1 times x over 2, because n is minus 1. Again, using brackets, minus 1 minus 2 over 2 factorial minus x over 2 squared, plus minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 over 3 factorial minus x over 2 cubed, etc. Right, so uh, before multiplying through by minus 2, we're going to get 1. This will become positive could be plus a half x. This will, these twos will cancel out, and this will become positive, so it will be a quarter x squared. These will cancel out, and again, it will be positive because we have three, ne ne four negatives. So this will become one-eighth of x cubed. 
multiplying through by minus 2, we're going to get minus 2 minus x minus a half x squared minus a quarter x cubed. Now what we need to do is combine that with that, and that will give us what we require. Now that expansion is valid between minus x over 2, between minus 1 and 1, which means that x will be between minus 2 and 2. So, writing that out, so putting in the expansion for that and the expansion for that, we don't need to add another minus sign because we dealt with the minus sign already. So we just put this expansion here. So we've got 3, take away 2, which is 1. 6, take away uh, 1x is uh, 5x. We've got 12x minus a half, which is 11 and a half x, which is an improper fraction is 23 over 2x squared. And then we've got 24 minus a quarter x cubed, which is 23 and a quarter, which is an improper fraction is 95 over 4x cubed. We stop there because we only need it for x cubed. This expansion would be valid for, well, the, this, uh, this ex one expansion was valid between a uh, half and a uh, half. And the other expansion was between minus 2 and 2, but because we combine them, we can only take the intersection. So we will say that the absolute value of x must be less than a half for this expansion to be valid. So this has been a video where we have used partial fractions and then expanded the partial fractions to find the cubic expansion of the original function or original expression. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.